There are several types of simple moving averages you can add to your thinkorswim chart depending on what you're trying to accomplish. There's the popular 50 and 200 day SMA lines which are used to signify the golden cross and the death cross. The 50 and 200 day moving average lines are calculated by taking the average closing price of a stock or other asset over the last 50 and 200 trading days. The 50 day SMA shows short term support and resistance levels while the 200 day SMA shows longer term support and resistance levels. Investors also often watch for these SMAs to cross which is known as a golden cross when the 50 SMA crosses above the 200 SMA and vice versa for a death cross which are considered buy and sell signals or bullish and bearish signals. So it can get confusing because there's a couple different SMA indicators on the Thinkorswim platform. So the first one is just called Simple Moving Average, as you can see right here, Simple Moving AVG. And if you set these to the 50 length and the 200 length, and you're on the daily time frame, then yes, they will be the 50 and 200 day moving average indicator. But if you were going to switch to the 5 minute chart, as you can see, these are not the same lines. These are now, instead of the average of the last 50 and 200 days, they're the average of the last 50 and 200 five minute periods. It just depends on what time frame you're on. So real quick, let me show you how to actually add these to your thinkorswim chart. So I just removed them. There's nothing on my chart. You just go to the beaker icon right up here, click edit studies. And then there's a search bar right here. You're just going to type in simple moving average. Click on this and then click add selected. And I'm going to do it twice because I want to put on the 50 and the 200 SMA, which are going to be, you're going to need two different indicators to do it. And then all you have to do is click the settings icon right here on one of them, change the length to 50. And then on the next one, and it doesn't have, I'm just showing you the 50 and 200 SMA line because that's the most popular ones but you can change these lengths to anything you want so as you, as you can see I put 50 and 200 for the lengths and then you can also change the color so you can identify the two so for my 50 I usually go with the yellow just personal preference and the 200 I like going with purple so I'm going to change the color just settings here and then there's a color palette you can use there so once you apply that press OK and now I have the 50 and 200 day moving average lines on my chart and these ones specifically if I change to the five minute chart they're going to change with the time frame so let me show you how to keep these lines plotted because as you can see this chart of X ticker symbol X the price is currently trading right above the 50 day moving average line it's actually right trading right in between the 50 and 200 SMA lines so if I wanted these lines to stay the same even if I move to the five minute, because as you can see right now, you can see th what they're valued at. So this purple line here, also known as the 200 day moving average, is at 38.86. But if I go to the five minute, you can see it's not that same value because it changed with the time frame. So if you want to have these lines stay the same regardless of which time frame you're on, it's a different indicator. So I'm going to remove these from my chart. And then I'm going to type in the daily SMA, add this to my chart twice. And so the daily SMA, this one is not going to change with the time frame. It's going to always stay, as you can see, the aggregation period here is on day. I'm going to put this to yellow. And then I'm going to add the 200 by changing the length. Same thing, just change the lengths, the 50 and 200 if you want those two. And as you can see, it's the same lines. They look a little bit weird, but when I change to the five minute, they're going to actually stay at the same values. You see it's 3886. That's the same as what it's at on this time frame. And you can add both to your chart. So if you want to have both, you can add simple moving average as well. On the daily time frame, it'll look exactly the same. So 50, it just depends if you want to use the intraday ones or not. And then this one I'll make 200. So this is a quick way so you can see the difference. 
So as you can see, there is two lines, but they're the exact same lines here on the daily chart. But if we go ahead and go to the five minute chart, you can see now we have four lines. So the purple, they're both 200 period moving average lines, but this one's still the 200 day moving average, while this one is the 200 five minute moving average on this because we're on the five minute time frame. If I go to the hour time frame, for example, now it's going to be the average of the last 200 hours on this line, but this one's still going to be the 200 day moving average. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that clears some stuff up for you guys. And if you have any questions about this, I know it can get confusing. Just drop them in the comments below. So now really quickly, I just want to show you guys how to basically use the Thinkorswim scanner to find stuff like golden crosses, for example. So we're just going to go quickly to the scan feature right up here. And as you can see, I have nothing set up. I just reset it all. So I'm just going to add a condition group with all of the following. I'm going to add a filter. And then I'm going to click study. Okay. And then under study here, we're going to go to, let's see, crossovers for the golden cross. And we're going to pick moving average crossover. And you can see there's the periods right here in simple. So we want simple for the simple moving average. You can also scan for, you know, EMA crosses too using this. But we're going to change this one to 50. And you can see simple, so 50 period simple moving average crosses above the 200 period simple moving average. Close price is fine. It's just the daily chart. And then right here is the time frame. So it's going to be 50 and 200 day moving averages. You know, you can change this to the five minute, any time frame you want. But I'm just going to do that for now on the daily. And so this is basically just going to find golden crosses for us. And you can scan in all stocks or whatever you want, a specific watch list, anything you want. And as you can see, we have a bunch of options here. So let's just check on one. So let's type any. ANY is one of the ones that popped up. So as you can see, boom, golden cross is happening right there. And so all these stocks should have that same golden cross. I think I saw CVRX. Yep, golden cross. And you can just flip flop this for death crosses, just crosses below. Rescan. And this one will show us the death crosses, the bearish crosses. So GNE, not GME, GNE. Uh, as you can see, sometimes it's a bit of a fake out, but that is definitely still an actual cross down. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how you use it, PKST. It's usually pretty accurate. Um, as you can see, sometimes the moving average lines, you know, cross up and down. Never know, but that is essentially how you use the scanner. Another quick tip as well, you can actually save the scan as a watch list. So it's just continually running as a watch list. So I'm going to put it back to golden crosses and scan again. So it's waiting for results. But here we just click on this and save as watch list. Then right here, all you have to do is give it a name. So I'll just name it golden cross. Save that. And then in one of your watch list tabs, you should be able to see it. So as you can see, it says Golden Cross right there. Um, Finger Swim, it's the weekend, so Finger Swim is kind of having uh, maintenance right now, but that is how you save it. And I have another one for like high IV stocks, for example. It scans for stocks above a certain IV level. But basically, once you open the watch list and the market is open, it'll constantly just be showing you stocks that are having golden crosses in this watch list. But other than that, I hope this, this video helped you guys out. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.